Okay, so for the third game in a row, the Kings are playing one of the best teams in the West. And it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. Last night, they um, went into double overtime against the Jazz. They came out on top, but they should be pretty tired. So let's see if we have a chance. So the Kings um, and the Thunder have played each other three times now this season, and this is our final game. The Kings have won two, and the Thunder, Thunder have won one. Last game, the Thunder had one player who just tore us apart, and his name is Steven Adams. He had 24 rebounds in that game. 24 rebounds in one game. That's... no, no, no. And Iman Shumpert usually had a great game against the Thunder, but we don't have Iman Shumpert anymore. Now we have Harrison Barnes. I mean, sure, if we, he, he's, he hasn't had a great game for us, but maybe that means he's due. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of a just, we'll just get into it with the player matchup. So for point guard, De'Aaron Fox versus Russell Westbrook. Now Westbrook's had kind of in a bit of controversy right now about he is averaging a triple-double again this season, but a lot of people are saying he's not helping his team win. I don't really have an opinion on it, but I could understand why. If he's stealing stats from everyone on his team, that could be hurting his team. Uh, so De'Aaron, he is kind of similar to Westbrook. He's less bulky. He's gonna. They're both fast. They both use their speed to beat their opponents. So, But Westbrook has the edge on power. So Westbrook's going to try to overpower Fox tonight. So we're going to see what Fox can do to counter that. Westbrook is averaging 22 points, 11 rebounds, and 11 assists, and 2 steals. That's a lot. That's a lot. A lot of, a lot of steals. And everything. Uh, De'Aaron, he's averaging... Seven assists, 17 points. For him, fantastic. That's great. And he's helping his team win. I don't know. Westbrook, sure, he's helping his team win. They're third in the West. Let's just go with that. Um, so that's it for point guard. Shooting guards, uh, it's not really a debate who's the better player in this. So Terrence Ferguson, Thunder's shooting guard, he's averaging seven points. Two rebounds, one assist, a steal, and a block. Yay. <laughs> and Buddy Heald, 21 points, five rebounds, two assists, a steal, and is crazy from three. He was a little cold last night, or last game, so he'll probably bounce back in this game. Small forward, this is the interesting matchup. Uh, Kings Harrison Barnes is going up against an MVP candidate, and Paul George. Now, ever since the Thunder got Paul George, the fans have been waiting to see the PG-13 they saw in the Pacers, who carried the Pacers to the conference finals, and they didn't have him for a good year. But this year, he's breaking out. He's averaging 30 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, and over 2 steals. So, he, he's, yeah, he's the Warriors leader. A lot of people are saying that. Um... Harrison Barnes, he's played four games with us. He's averaging 13 points, seven rebounds, three assists, and a steal. And, he, and he's probably giving a lot of help off the court to our sophomores and rookies about what to do and stuff in these heavy situations on the road to playoffs because they've never experienced that before. So it's going to be very interesting of how Bar a veteran Barnes can try to slow down uh, Paul George. Now, power forward, I'm not – I don't know who's going to start for the Kings – Anyone could start now. Uh, but I'm, I'll talk about Marvin Bagley because he had a great game last game. Yeah, February has been very kind to this kid. He hasn't seen... A lot of people that aren't Kings fans haven't seen much about Bagley that has made him special. But all the Kings fans are saying it's just because he's not getting enough minutes. Um, and they were right. He's getting enough minutes this month and he's averaging 18 points, 10 rebounds, a steal, assist, and a block. And he's looking like a bright spark in the Kings' uh, future front court. So he could start. I don't know. 
At least it could start. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, the Thunder's power forward is having a decent year. Jeremiah Grant. Never heard of him. He's averaging 13 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, and a steal. And is leading the Thunders in blocks. So it looks like he's going to be a good defender. So we'll see if he can try to match um, Bagley. But we'll see what Bagley can do. Now, center... Uh, last time Willie Colley Stein faced off with Steven Adams, as I kind of already told you, it did not go well. But, I mean, Willie can choose when he wants a good game, so he could have a good game. Willie's hat right now at 13 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal, and a block, but not that close to one block, it's more like .7. But I round it up, because go us. Steven Adams is averaging 15 points, 5 offensive rebounds, 5 defensive rebounds, 2 steals, 2 assists, and a block. 5 offensive rebounds. He's one of the best offensive rebounders in the game. And for the Kings, offensive rebounds are booty. We hate them. We don't get them, but we let them happen to us. So, the Kings and the Thunder are the two of the fastest teams in this um, league. Both of them are in the top two for points off turnovers, and they're in the top three in pace. So, this should be a very fast-paced game. It's going to be fun to watch. We'll see if the Kings can run them out of the building. hey -oh. See what I did there? Because they run fast. Huh. Okay, um, you can write my pre, you can read my preview. Um, that's on a link, a, in a link, in the description below. Have fun watching the game. Should it's probably gonna be a good one.